make sure to subscribe and of course ring that bell, turn those notifications on so you don't miss my next video. Hey everyone, it's Kristen and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a tutorial with four easy ways to decorate your homes for New Year's and any party celebration. So make sure to give today's video a very big thumbs up. It always lets me know that you guys do enjoy these tutorial videos. And of course, if you have any other suggestions on some tutorials that you guys would like to see me do on my channel, definitely make sure to comment down below. So with all of that said, you guys, we are gonna go ahead and begin. Okay, so for the first tutorial that we are going to be doing, this one is actually really easy, you guys. So you are only going to need two things, including or not including the barrier. So we're going to pull out about five sets of the balloons. And you can definitely make this as big or as small as you want, depending on how you are decorating your specific home. So I have went ahead, pulled out five of the balloons. Then we're going to go over to the cute section and we are going to be using the glowing font. So you can definitely use some of the other ones if you want to save money, but just because this is for New Year's, I wanted to make this really luxurious and just kind of making everything glow and look fit for a party. So what we're going to do is lay three of the balloons side by side, and I'm just going to change them from gold to silver to gold. And you can definitely decorate whichever color that you want. I know some people use black and gold or like silver and black, but for today we are going to be using a lot of that silver and gold color. So what I find is when you are trying to make your fonts the golden color, I go for the darkest shade just because I find if you make it too glowing, it's really hard to actually like read the font of the neon sign. So what we're going to do is use two of them so we can do New Year's Eve. Now, I really wish that Adopt Me would fix it so we could use numbers because originally I had planned to do like 2020, like for year 2020, but for some reason Adopt Me or Roblox themselves actually just kind of make it censored for numbers. I don't know if it's just so that like kids don't like put their phone numbers in the chat, but for today it did turn out cute still using that New Year's Eve font. And just delete the barrier and you guys can place these wherever you want decorating for New Year's Eve. Now the next tutorial is probably one of the easiest ones of the four. So all you're going to want to do is go over into the stuff of decoration and pull out, I don't think it's called the banner, but it's like one of these smaller banners and you're just going to want to make this a pattern. So you can definitely use as many colors for this as you want, but just kind of keeping with the silver and gold color scheme, I just kind of made the pattern of the gold, silver, golden, silver. And I kind of was going back and forth on like the colors of the font that we are gonna use. And the golden just kind of blended way too much. I think if I was building this in my own home, I would probably do like silver and gold and maybe even use pink. But what we're gonna do is just take that same neon sign we used before. Now, if you pull that up onto the banners, it is going to be hidden. So you are gonna need to grab one of your barriers once again. So we're just gonna move the neon sign out of the way, take one of the barriers, and then we are just going to push this as close to the wall as we can just so that it looks like it is actually like part of the banner once again you guys i really wanted to use like 2020 for the year on this banner but unfortunately it is the censored version so yeah we made this actually black and then you're going to be able to see it new year's eve on the banner so you can kind of just put that everywhere in your homes so the next one is definitely inspired by Pinterest. I don't know if you guys see whenever like some of these rooms are decorated for New Year's. I've always wanted to do it, but whenever you fill balloons with like helium and you just kind of have like a ton of them on your ceiling, just kind of floating around, that is definitely what inspired this part of it. So what we're gonna do, because when you pull the balloons out, they automatically go on the floor. So all you're gonna wanna do is use a barrier and slightly raise it up just until you can have the balloons on the ceiling. 
and of course just make them any color that you want and just kind of like fill your homes with these on the ceilings and I think it looks super duper adorable. Okay, so the last tutorial of the day is probably the most complicated, but it is still easy peasy, you guys. So what you're going to want to do is pull out the barrier, which is going to kind of act as like the back photo drop. So I kind of picture this if you want to have yourself and your friends stand up against it and take some screenshots. This is super adorable and it also kind of doubles for a dance stage as well. So just use your barrier for the photo backdrop and then just kind of make layers of those balloons and any color that you are decorating for New Year's Eve. So for myself, I just used all of like the gray ones and just kind of used three different levels of the balloons so it looked like it was like a bar of balloons that went like all the way to the ceiling. Like I said, you guys can make this as big or as small as you want. So we just kind of put them on both sides of it. Now, once again, I would have loved to use 2020 for the backdrop, but what we're gonna do is once again, pull out those neon signs. And yeah, you're just gonna wanna make sure that your barrier is perfectly even when it comes to like making it even with the balloon so it's in the middle. Then what we're gonna do is pull out the dance floor. So this one I just wanted to spice it up a little bit. You guys will see this in the daytime because it actually looked a lot better in the daytime. And once again, we are gonna be pulling out two of those neon signs once again. So. For this one, I actually used the silver color, which looks really nice in the daytime. It kind of looks like a diamond, a little bit of like just a nice glowing white. Now this was a little bit the apostrophe S, just kind of made it so we couldn't see the S. So I took it out and just kind of made it so you can see New Year's. And then of course, once again, we are gonna pull out another neon sign. Add your Eve just so that it looks a little bit fancier and we have our New Year's Eve backdrop. There is still one more thing that we are going to want to do just because we do like to make everything really fancy here. So we are going to use those little mini banners that we can find over in decoration. Once again, you guys can use any color that you want, but I end up using the silver and like a little bit of a darker gold color just so it doesn't blend too much into the background. So just kind of make this into a pattern. You guys can definitely use them as like all one solid color. Or of course, if you did want to save a little bit of money, you don't even need to add the banners. But I like making things a little bit extra as you guys know. So what I ended up doing was using silver and then you guys will see I went for that little bit of a darker gold shade and it makes for a super pretty um, backdrop. So you guys will actually see me posting some pictures with this over on my Instagram, Kristen Plays. And of course, don't forget to remove the barrier, which is something I always do. And here is it in daytime. So I definitely wanted to make sure to include this so you guys can see how nice. I feel like everything in Adopt Me in Homes looks a lot better in the daytime just because it is just so bright. So definitely make sure to have your parties during the daytime unless you guys just like everything dark and just kind of like watching everything glow in the evenings here on Adopt Me. But that is everything for today's New Year's Eve celebration tutorial on decorating your homes and completely customizing it with all of your favorite colors for your celebration. So if you guys do happen to use any of these in your homes, of course, make sure to tag me on Instagram or Twitter because I absolutely love seeing what you guys end up using these for in your own creations. Of course, make sure to give today's video a very, very big thumbs up. It always lets me know you guys did enjoy. And of course, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully I'm going to see you all next time.